Hello, I'm Candy Grimes, Program Lead for Alaska Native Veteran Land Allotment Program. This video will provide a brief overview of how to fill out the application. Start in number one. Fill in the name of the veteran. Number two is filled out only if there is a personal rep, guardian, conservator, or power of attorney. If this does not apply, leave it blank. Number three is the mailing address of the person we are to contact, either the veteran or the personal rep. Number four is the birth date of the veteran. Number five is the phone number of the person we are to contact, either the veteran or the personal rep. Number six is the legal description of the land you selected. To fill it out, you'll need to reference the map you created when you selected your land. The blanks are sections, township, range, meridian, and acres. All of these are noted on the map. For sections, write in the section or sections your land is in. The township is the first three numbers and letter. The range is the last three numbers and letter. The first letter is the meridian. Your selection cannot exceed 160 acres, but it's very hard to draw exactly 160 acres. Don't worry about that. Simply enter 160 on your application and we'll adjust your selection to match. Make sure to print your map. Click on Map Attached and submit the map with your application. Other descriptive details is where you would give us more information pertaining to your selection. Number seven has multiple parts to it. The first three have to do with the veteran's eligibility for the program. Are they Alaska Native? Are they a veteran? And did they serve during a certain time period? The last three pertain to land. Did the veteran receive land from the Bureau of Land Management in his or her own name? If not, the answer would be no to all three questions. Number eight and nine are answered only if the veteran is not a predetermined eligible individual. To find out if the veteran is a predetermined eligible individual, please contact the Bureau of Land Management at 907-271-5998 and we will let you know. If the veteran is not a predetermined eligible individual, you will need to provide a copy of their DD-214 or other documentation from the Department of Defense or the Department of Veterans Affairs showing their dates of service and their character of discharge. You will also need to provide a copy of their Certificate of Degree of Indian Blood or other documentation from the Bureau of Indian Affairs or their tribe proving they are Alaska Native. Number 10 is answered by the personal representative. If there isn't one, leave it blank. Number 11 is answered by the guardian, conservator, or power of attorney. If there isn't one, leave it blank. The last part is to be signed and dated by the applicant. Two witnesses are only required if the signature is a mark or a thumbprint. If you have any more concerns or questions, please contact the Bureau of Land Management at 907-271-5998. Thank you.